Oh, 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 man. Oh, 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 boy. Time to bully my followers once again. Also, check out my new jacket. What do you think? It's pretty cool, right? It's better than yours, that's for sure. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode two of bullying my TikTok followers for their music taste. Now, the first episode went really well. However, there was a little bit of criticism on two points. One, I wouldn't listen to anything by Five Finger Death Punch. And I'll tell you the reason why. As I stated in the very first video, I'm not gonna listen to anything that makes me want to beat my sister. I don't even have a sister, but every time I listen to Five Finger Death Punch, I do want to put her in a fucking hospital. And number two being, I just didn't listen to enough. I didn't have more of a reason to bully more people. So that's what we're doing. Please understand, just before anything goes on, and before I judge you heavily, if I say anything negative about your recommendation, please do not think that I'm bashing the artist, because naturally, they're successful. Otherwise, people wouldn't be listening to them, and they obviously have a lot of fucking talent. I'm just going off my personal vibes. You know what I mean? You know, I may not look it, but I do like a little bit of a Melanie Martinez in the morning. So, I'm not just a fucking dumb Grebo metalhead. I do listen to other stuff. But yeah, let's get into it, boys. So the first one is by Peanut Jelly. Peanut Jelly's suggestion is Synth Peter featuring Mana. Here on te dance. Oh, it's is that South African? I think it's South African. <laughs> Okay, Peanut Jelly, do you remember in the first episode where we started off strong? This time, we started off kind of in the middle here. I mean, I get why people like it. Not my kind of thing. However, I could listen to it if I was off my face on ketamine. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. So the next request comes from It's A Me Tina, my Slavic goddess, with her recommendation, or request, however you want to put it, of The Art Of Partying By Municipal Waste. Mate. Oh, it's been as for waste. It's already going to be like past seven, but I haven't listened to the Art of Partying album in like what four years. So let's uh, let's get to it. It's a me, Tina. You came through with one hell of a suggestion. Now I'm going to give you a nine out of ten purely because of the fact that while the Art of Partying is a good album and a good title track, it's not as good as Slime and Punishment. Sorry, Chief, but still, 9 out of 10. Opalus Magica comes through with her request of Ever Trapped Sorrow. Now, I have no idea who the fuck these guys are. I've never heard of the fuckers, but hopefully they're good. You better pray for your fucking life that they're good, Opalus Magica, or I will come in and crush you. <laughs> Palace Magica. The council has gathered and we have decided that you must be crushed because quite frankly in my honest opinion that was one of the most generic songs I've heard. Um, don't get me wrong, musicianship, it's all well and good. Like, it all sounded fine. It was just too generic. Like, it, it sounded like something I've heard like a million times over and for that reason, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna slap you with a... Ooh. Let me just ask the council. Uh -huh. Slap you with a two. <coughs> Naomi's News comes in clutch with her suggestion of summonings by Black Pyre. Now, for those of you who don't know, Black Pyre are a band that Naomi's News just won't shut the fuck up about because she has done an article on them in Metal Hammer. Yes, Naomi, we get it. You're a journalist in Metal Hammer, and because of that, you're making me extremely fucking jealous. Shut the fuck up. Okay, no enemies news. I can see why you would shut up about them. Admittedly, they're not the best black metal band I've ever heard, but they are really fucking good, so I'm gonna be gracious. I'll give you a 7 out of 10. 
You better be fucking thankful. I love you, I didn't mean what I said. Charlie Hertz 45 comes in with their recommendation of Amid the Graves by Carnal Tomb. I've heard of Carnal Tomb, but I haven't listened to it. And on that note, I will never listen to them ever again. I, um, I'll give you a 3 out of 10. Most, mostly because the only enjoyment I could find of that song was just imagining me hanging myself. Come on, you bastards. Come on. I know you can do better than this. Oh, we've only had two good songs. Fuck. Ulysses 2K comes in with their recommendation of Blood Hail, Have a Nice Life. I have no idea what I'm going in for here, but um, at this point I have really low expectations. <laughs> Who hurt you, Ulysses? Who hurt you? It's okay, you can tell me. You're not gonna tell me? That's fine. Don't worry, let me just give you a rating of a uh, 1 out of 10. Skeleton Keys comes in with a song recommendation that sounds like uh, that of, <laughs> of an edgy 14 year old. Um, Powers of Darkness by Gospel of the Horns. I have a feeling this is either black metal or doom metal. <laughs> Thank you, Skeleton Kings, for finally giving me something decent to listen to. Um, I actually forgot, but I do know this band, as I have a patch of theirs somewhere. Um, I don't know where, but I know I have it. So, um, cheers, cheers for reminding me that they exist. I'll give you an 8 out of 10. Thank you. Pursuit of Ponyo, my favourite Ghibli movie, has come through with their recommendation of Hounds of Love covered by the Future Heads. Never heard of the future heads. Oh, very nice pursuit of Ponyo. Very nice. I'll give you a 7 out of 10 for that because that was quite the bop. Mute Magic Musician comes in with Reiser Reiser by Rammstein. Now, Rammstein is real hit and miss for me, like mostly miss. I'm gonna be real with you, but you never know. This one might, this one might uh, change my mind. I remember reading in a um in an article somewhere where someone said all of Motorhead's songs sound the same. Now this isn't true, because when you think about it, Motorhead covered pretty much every spectrum of rock and roll. You know, they did blues, um, they did thrash, they did real emotional stuff like the song 1916. So saying that every Motorhead song sounds the same is really wrong. However, in Rammstein's case, it's correct, because every Rammstein song sounds exactly the fucking same. So I'm going to give you a 1 out of 10, mostly because um, <laughs> it's fucking Rammstein. Like, you hear one album, you hear them all. Listen to better music, you fucking fugazi. Miss Horror underscore Mauro says her favourite song is any song by Motionless in White. I'm not even going to grace you with that. Motionless in White can suck a fat one. <laughs> Zero out of ten for even questioning that I'd listen to Motionless in White. Actually, the same goes for Axe Wielder with 10,000 Days by Tool. I would rather stick a rather thick cucumber down my urethra with no fucking like, painkillers than listen to even a second of Tool. Fuck. RxB.RT asks for Death's Hand by the Amity of Friendship, as they are his favourite band. I've only heard of the Amity Affliction, so there's a very high chance you're going to get bullied in this one, Chief. Well, fuck me, I didn't realise we were in 2009. Um, two out of ten. Boring as fuck. <laughs> get out the scene phase, man. Just get out. There's better bands. Do you know who Bolt Thrower are? 
Have you, have you heard like Exodus? On the topic of Exodus, Jelly Baby comes in with A Lesson in Violence by Exodus. I love this song, so I'm not going to react to it because Jelly Baby, you and I both know how good that fucking song is. We're going to be at 10 out of 10 because it's Exodus. Virtually Here 8 comes in with their recommendation of Do Not Look Down by Meshuggah. The only Meshuggah song I know is the obvious one. That being Bleed. Other than that, never heard any Meshuggah. But I do like the overall sound from the Godfathers of Jen. So, you might have a chance of impressing me. Jen is really hit and miss for me. A bit like Rammstein, but less effective. Um, that was good. I will admit, that was good. Um, you kind of got me in the mood to want to listen to your sugar, actually. Hmm. 7 out of 10. Fern Abroad has asked for Whispers by Alien Weaponry. Again, another one I'm not going to react to because every song by Alien Weaponry is good in my opinion. So, yeah. 9 out of 10 on that one. 9 out of 10. Because it's not Kai Tonga. Biomed strikes again with their recommendation of Creator. Phobia. We stand creator in this household, so... Mm. I haven't listened to creator in a while though, so it would be good to get back into the swing of Biomed's superb taste. I'll give you a 9 out of 10. And that's gonna do it. I know this one was uh, not as long as the last, but um, after hearing so much shit in the middle. Uh, I just, I, I just want it over and done with. If you want your uh, song recommendation judged heavily in the next episode, you can either go to my TikTok or whatever, just find me there and message me some shit, or you can post it down in the comments and we can judge it from there. See you later, fuckheads. I'm, I'm going to sleep. <laughs>